10 haircuts in 10 minutes, which means I'm going to be doing a haircut every minute of this video. Starting off with Cookie Kingington. We're gonna give him a taper. Is that what you want? I'm down, let's do it. I'm also gonna be surprising one of my followers with a free haircut later in this video, so stick around for that. Chat, what the hell, man? This is the most bumble cloud out hairline. You're not like receding, but it's like- I don't know why it's like that, but it makes it so hard to like style it. I'm not gonna How is that okay. possible? I don't know, bro. It's I'm excited to see, because every barber like Loki like doesn't know what to do with that part right there. Oh, every, every barbington? Yeah, so I'm excited. You think I'm every barber, bro? No, this is special. This is special. Are you nervous? No, nah, I'm excited to try something new. No sideburn. Yeah, I was gonna point that out. I don't think I've ever done that before. Oh my gosh, bro. I've never seen my hair like this, bro. It's over for my hairline. I mean, yeah, that's like as symmetrical as it's gonna get. Yeah, I think, I think it looks great. All right, let's do the top. Bro, I love it. It looks so clean. I'm commencing you to grow the flow out. I will. Free bottle of base to go along with this awesome haircut. Restocking soon. It's the best natural shampoo on the market. It does not strip out your oils like 99% of the other shampoos do. I actually just shampooed my hair and it looks this good. Final worst of the world right now. Get yourself some base and uh, my hair's about to look so good. I'm excited. We've got TD Brickington in the chair. What type of haircut would you like today, sir? Let me show you. So basically, can you give me this cut? He'd be looking kind of nice. I want to get that. So that is exactly what we're not going to be doing for this haircut. And giving him a taper. Honestly, bro, I, I trust you, bro. Yeah, go for it. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I'm gonna make him just, into just, more of a mogger than he already is. Just don't make my mom mad, because, you know, okay. she she okay. yeah. she always be checking my, my hairline. What's the full history of your hair cutting journey? So did you work at, like, Great Clips or something? Or? No, I started cutting hair when I was 14 years old. So you never worked at an actual haircut place? No, you just no. Do I, I can days. now. As of, okay. like, a year ago, I've been licensed. For real? So, Wait, so what does it mean to be a licensed hair cutter? You gotta go to school. So for really? about nine months, I was in school full time. It was oh. kind of shit. Sheesh. It was pretty much as close as I got to to working a full-time job. It was nine to five every day. But I already knew how to cut, bro. I'd already been cutting I for five years at that time. I was just trying to get my license. Yeah. But that's when I like started doing my hair stuff on social media seriously. So then that took off. And if it didn't take off, then I would be working in a shop, but it did. So now I'm doing this. Yeah. Need some base body works texture powder. Okay, yeah. Wow, that's looking. Yeah, yeah. You're a mogger, bro. You're a yeah. mogger. You know what's up. My mom is actually gonna like it. She's usually really picky when I get a haircut, but she'll she's actually gonna oh, like well, it. Oh, slide digits type shit. Final worst of the world right now. Now I can riz up Sarah Grace. Type oh. shit. <laughs> I need to clean this up, make this look right. Make me look right, bro. Okay, I, I braided this off camera. No, he actually did. <laughs> uh, you know, yeah. off camera. Totally didn't outsource it. Mid drop fade with braids. Style number three. I'm thinking, bro, what's the next haircut, bro? Like, the For you? Hairstyle. You get like a down perm or something. Like a K-pop star. Because you've already had like the regular the curly perms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was thinking, bro. I was like, I'm gonna, I might grow out my hair. Reactions to the braids. Come on out. Oh, you know how to I do braids. Look, look. Lance learned a new method and I guess it works. Me acting up. Bro, I've never seen a more blurry tape, or I guess fade in my life. Blurrington? The Italian Stallion's back for cut number four. I'm gonna do my classic low taper fringe. Pretty much the Sam Zia cut. He has a little bit curlier hair, so it's gonna turn out a little bit differently. But as you can tell for this video, a lot of the cuts on the sides are pretty much the same. It's just how the top is styled. That makes each haircut unique. Give me that like old money Italian cut. Make me look like I just came out of the 1900s. Like I came off a yacht. Final worst of the world right now. Invest in yourself, invest in base. The Dillington is in the chair for haircut number five. We actually got a perm at this nice salon in LA, <laughs> but the footage just fucking disappeared Chat, off my Chat, I keep card. finding articles saying whether I'm gay or not, and that's gonna get me verified on TikTok, so it's W. Honestly, I want like literally a half inch off. <laughs> <laughs> Clip this and this is your new profile picture. You're welcome. Don't do that, chat. Do you want to change it up a little? Do you want to I actually, not. Nah, I mess with it. I think it's good like this. If I take a shower. You can just let me know. I mean, you're, you practically yeah. live at my I'm house. I'm living at Lance's house right now. Final worst of the thing. world right now, Dylan. Go to the barber and ask for the Dillington. Guys, we got the salt spray. This is going to save me a little clean cutting tin. 
Cosmetics, get your salt spray now if you want wavy hair. I'm not drunk, bro. Oh, we're I doing don't... haircut number six. And uh, he's got this very interesting haircut that I obviously don't like. So of course I'm gonna throw him in the video. I don't trust this guy anymore after he got super faded and cut my hair. I don't know what's going on. I'm armed, I got the Glock under here and we'll see what happens. Drunk haircut video, but I made it sound like I like spiked your drink or something in one of the- Oh, I know, shows. and people, yeah. And they blew people, the oh my fuck God. up. They're like, you, you shouldn't do that. Yeah, <laughs> people are so soft nowadays, bro. Like, you had times back in the day, like, like Connor would like give me like a chocolate or something and be like, there's a thousand milligrams in there like that. I don't know. Uh, maybe me and my friends are different. You and your friends are different. I don't like that shit's funny, bro. I'm getting a looks maxing massage tomorrow in San Diego. What there's does that this mean? place, bro. Is, is this it called place. a looks maxing salon? It's not, but they should because they get more customers. It's this place that does what's called a, a buckle massage, I think. Buckle, buckle. I don't know how to. Oh, they've been so, using that like, uh... They like get in there, bro, and they massage the jaw and they say it like, you know, enhances your jaw or whatever. I'm scared when he's giving me a haircut now. I don't know what it's gonna be. I'm on horse tranquilizers today. Oh, dude, you Brandon's know, Dylan's there. been talking. Telling me to do the fentanyl haircut. Dude, do not do that. <laughs> I thank God for fentanyl. Dude, let's go to the tenderloin. Yep. Let's interview some more fentanyl addicts. Okay. And then I'll give them a haircut while they pin me up. Yeah. <laughs> Lance went off the rails. Find the worst of the world right now. Okay, the next haircut, whoever it is, give them a boozy fade no matter what. I just got done cutting Santa Cruz Medicinal's hair, and he said I gotta give the next person a boozy fade. Bro, you are not giving me a boozy fade. Can I give you a boozy fade, bro? Oh, of course, give me the boozy fade. Like, actually, give me, like, give me a boozy fade. Wait, what is the boozy fade? <laughs> <laughs> give him the boozy fade. Oh, nah. I'm trying to get a boozy fade or something, bro? Like... Oh, hell no, nah, bro. Oh, <laughs> hell no. <nah. laughs> oh, my God. Come on, Miller, bro. Bro, I look like fucking Jake Gyllenhaal, bro. So you haven't gotten a cut since? Since last time when you buzzed me. So what would you like today? You know you gotta give me that blowout taper. Dude, the amount of tapers I've done in this video is absurd. Don't get mad at me, get mad at my clients. They just love it. If you had to rate that video 1 through 10, would you rate it? <laughs> Don't move during this lineup. This taper is good, but it's got no texture on top. I wonder what could solve this problem. Hey, you know, bro. This is the part of the video where I reveal to him the challenge of the video. I gotta give you a boozy fade without you noticing or else you get $500. <laughs> You know, Brendan had an idea for a YouTube video. Sorry, Brendan, if you're watching, but he was like, let me go rent a limo and then they'll cook a steak in the back of the limo. And if my Uber driver doesn't find out or my limo driver doesn't find out that I'm cooking a steak by the end of the video, he gets $500. <laughs> Final worst of the world right now. Invest in base, bro. Uh, people say that too often. You gotta okay. be original. If you don't get your rapist thug, no more black balls on my face. What the hell are you talking about? So I want to keep the flow, but I don't know if I want like just mullet or just like clean it up. You know. You had the mullet. Before. I had the mullet. So do you want to go back to that? I kind of like the mullet. You want to do the mullet again? Do the mullet. So you want to do the taper on the side? Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna talk about uh, that one thing in Europe, but you just turn on the camera, so I can't really expose myself. What happens in Europe stays in Europe. What type of haircut you want to do? Do whatever you want, man. Yeah. I, I really don't care. Yeah? I've been wanting to get a haircut for like seven months from you, and I've been loyal. Do you see how long and fucking overgrown my hair is? I remember up until like I was 16, I couldn't find any barber, and I just had to keep going to like super cuts. And then like you started cutting at school, and I'm not gonna lie, I, I was kind of making fun of you because you would give everybody the same fade. Well, you were practicing, but yeah, now yeah, I trust you with my life. Man, that's kind of insane that he actually turned into a real business. I just remember like the last time I was here or maybe a couple times ago, you told me that like you just had to force your little brother into like filling up all the shampoo bottles. Oh yeah. Fucking slave labor. Damn, you're cutting my hair short. You think that's short? Yeah, it's a little short, isn't it? That's how I normally do it. That's how you normally do it? Are you sure? Okay, seven months ago, I asked for a little bit shorter at that time. Do whatever you want, man. Yeah? I, I really don't care. Final worst of the world right now. Uh, next time I'm showing up in a suit. We're on the way to go surprise my number one fan. When I first met this guy, he was literally screaming nonstop for about three minutes. And we're about to go give him a haircut for the last haircut of this video. Stop, bro. Thank you for 
haircut. Yeah. Bro, I'm working on old cam right now. I should just drop out and be a barber, man. That's too, what I'm saying. It's bro. too this complicated. Too hard, Show me the setup. Show me how we do this. Take Stop. the chair out and then just ride across here. Yeah, bro. Walk into work right across the. Yeah. Right across. Some people might be walking in here though. That's fine. Cut hair and weirdo. <laughs> what's the wait? What's the weirdest place you cut hair? I don't know why this didn't come to my mind, but probably at a high school football game. How much you want off the top though? I'm trying to do like a texture top. You you know your boy Sam. Wait, are there two Sams? The one with the perm. Thanks. So. He looked Filipino. Oh yeah, there are two Sams. Yeah. 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 I fuck with his blog table the first one. Dude, I love nice. how you know like all my clients. Yeah. How does it feel being one of the biggest barber TikTokers? I still don't really fathom. Like I have friends who are barbers, right? And they're like, oh, people keep coming in and showing me your videos and stuff. And I, I still don't really fathom it, you know? Do you don't feel it right now? I mean, I feel it, but you like- You should have felt yeah. it when you first walked in here. When I, when I first saw oh, you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. How many clients you get a day usually? How long do you be doing every day? Kind of just stack people up back to back. Yeah. I always do my guideline with my clipper. You don't use trimmer? No. I take the trimmer right beneath it, because then there's just no like harsh line. If I fuck somebody up, I'll be like, ooh, damn. You mind if I take a photo? So it makes it seem like that shit is fire. But it is fire. Like, I'm not gonna lie. I haven't fucked yeah. anyone up. What's the most annoying thing for a client to do on the chair? When I'm trying to, like, do the back or some shit, they sit like this or something. Oh, yeah, man, that shit pissed me off. A little bit of base powder. How's that look? Is that good? Yeah. Final words to the world right now. Just do something, bro. Do something that you want to do and thrive at it. If you want to do it, bro, don't let nobody tell you you can't do it, bro. Just keep doing it. And shout out, shout out to my barber, Jamari Blends, bro. Hey, if you're in Blackwell Hall at Berkeley, hit my boy up for cuts. Tap in. On the sixth floor. Sixth floor. Sixth floor, tap in.